All right, 2.1, midpoint of a line segment. We're going to be talking about different aspects of a midpoint and how that can be applied to a line. Now, a line segment, some of you may be already confused as to what this word means, line segment. A line segment is a part of a line, okay, is where you have, instead of arrows at the end of a line, you have points at the end of the line. And the midpoint is the middle between the two points on that line segment. So a midpoint is a point that divides a line segment into two equal smaller line segments. The line segments, for example, if you have a line segment with one point, let's call it x1, y1, meaning the first point, and the other point, x2, y2, so these are, let's say, two points at the end of a line. So if I was to draw you a line, for example, A would be, for example, starting from left to right, would be here, and this one would be B. All right, so A, B, like this. It doesn't always begin like that, but in the case of this example here, we're just saying that A is one point and B is the second point. All right, now, the midpoint is the points with the coordinates as such, okay? So let's see what this is, and then we can look at this and how that refers to it. So this is M. This is the, how you calculate it. You take the X's, add them up, divide by 2. You take the Y's, add them up, divide by 2, and that will give you the middle. So estimating, we would say the middle is located somewhere about here in the point. So if I was to draw the middle, we would have a middle somewhere along this line right here. And this would be our middle midpoint, our middle. And that's exactly how you would calculate the midpoint each and every single time. All right, let's look at the rest of this problem here. And we're going to erase this line segment. Here we go. And let's keep moving forwards. A median now is a line that joins the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So here we go. This is, I'll just show you the example here. So here, given a triangle, any regular triangle, what you are to do is to find a midpoint. So let's say the middle between one of the sides and connect that midpoint to, so, now don't forget, a midpoint divides the line equally on both sides and that midpoint will connect itself to the opposite vertex, exactly as such. This line that I just created is called the median. Okay, now this median can be drawn on, there are three medians found on this triangle because I could find the midpoint of any of the sides. Okay, so let's say the midpoint over here and connect it to this side over here. Or on this side, the midpoint can be found about here and it would connect to this side over here. So again, a median, there are three medians in one triangle. What's going to be interesting is we're going to find out that those medians connect to one single point and that's going to be discovered later on in this course. Now, a right bisector is a line perpendicular to a line segment and passes through the midpoint. So here we go again. Again, we're looking at a midpoint. Remember a midpoint divides the line in half, so this point will divide a line segment in half, and what we draw is a perpendicular line from that midpoint, okay, and look at the words, right bisector. A right bisector, a right angle, is a perpendicular line, okay, so it creates a right angle, and it bisects, it cuts in half, so it cuts the side in half, and we can draw a perpendicular line. That can be done on this side and then this side. We're going to do an activity in class on drawing these medians and right bisectors. Example number one. Find the point of the two points, sorry, of the two points 3, 5, and 11, 14. So all I want you to do for the first example is find the midpoint. Easy? Yes, it is, folks. Like I said earlier, we need to go back. We're going to look back at our... Sorry, just one second. We're going to look back and look at this particular equation. Very important. That is the midpoint. Now, you have to, some of you would love to just memorize the equation. Go right ahead. 
But for most of you, I want you to think about the word midpoint and think about how you would find the middle. Let's say the middle of the ages between your parents. Well, to find the middle is you would have to add the two ages and divide by two. Well, the same goes for a midpoint. You add the x's, divide by two, add the y's, divide by two. So when you go to the other side over here on this question, you notice that when it talks about the question, it wants you to find the midpoint. So how did I say to find the midpoint? That's right, you add the x's, divide by two, and add the y's, divide by two. Now, you can't just do it, folks. You need to show me some proper mathematical form. So let's look at that. So the midpoint is equal to adding the x's, 3 plus 11 divided by 2, comma, because it is a point, remember, folks, so it has two numbers, an x and a y, and 5 plus 14 divided by 2. So that's the math that I want to see. This here is not necessarily a step, so I could literally take this piece right now and make that piece disappear. Because what I'm looking for, folks, is the M. That's the most important, crucial part, is the M. So I could look at it like that. So M is equal to 7, 9, and 9.5. Yes, sometimes you'll have decimals. They're okay. They're not going to hurt you. 3 plus 11 is 14, divided by 2 is 7. 5 plus 14 is 19, divided by 2 is 9.5. An alternative way to write this answer would be to write the following, 7 and 19 over 2. That's also acceptable. But I would rather that you not write the mixed version of this particular question. All right, next one. Example number 2. For example number two, you're asked to find the equation of the median line from vertex A in triangle ABC if the coordinates of the vertices are as follows. All right, so notice that I put a grid automatically there. It's not something where you need to have a necessary big complicated grid, but more along the lines of being able to have an idea of what this triangle looks like. You don't need to know whether how perfect it is or measure the vert each side. What's important here is that you find the equation of the median line. So, I draw my points A, B, and C. A can be found in, in this quadrant over here. B can be found in this quadrant over here. And C can be found in this quadrant over here. In later years, you're going to find the names of these quadrants. So, you notice that in each quadrant, these are all the, the, the particular uh, points or vertices of the triangle. So we need to find the median line from vertex A, okay? So the median line from vertex A means that it has to come from A and go across to the midpoint of BC. So we need the midpoint of BC and connect itself to A. So we need the equation of that particular line. All right, so how are we going to do that? First off, find the median, mid midpoint. So we're going to find the midpoint of BC, and we do that by taking 3. So part B, we're going to find the midpoint of this, so we're going to take 3 plus 7, divided by 2, and 5 plus negative 3, and divide that by 2. What will that will give us is the midpoint of BC, which is 5, 1. 3 plus 7 is 10, divided by 2 is 5. 5 plus negative 3 divided by 2 is 1. So 5, 1 is our midpoint. Next, we have a slope. We need to find the slope. We need the slope because to find the equation of a line, we need a slope and a point. Once we know the slope and the point, we can, we can find the equation of the line. So the slope from midpoint of BC to A is going to be... Now, how do you find slope? Do any of you remember? Well, it would be rise over run. Rise, okay, is always the y value subtracted, and run is the x value subtracted. So, how do you do all that? Let's, let's talk about that. So, let's see how I wrote that information out carefully. 5, 1. Where did I get the point 5, 1? Well, that's the midpoint BC. 5 is the x, y is the 1. Next, we have negative 3 and negative 1. What is that point? 
Well, if you look up here, that's A. Remember, we need to find the slope from M to A. M is the midpoint, which would be right here. So what we're actually doing is finding this slope. How do we do that? We write the points going upwards and subtract them. We subtract them because we want to find the difference. How far did this rise and then how far did it run? So we need to find the difference in the x's and the y's. The y's being the uh, rise and the, and the x's being the run. So what will our slope be? Well, it would be 1 minus negative 1 is 2, and 5 minus negative 3 is 8. 2, 8, which equals 1 quarter. So our slope is 1 quarter. All right, now that we know that, we can find the equation of the line. So we sub substitute the slope, and we substitute the point that's on the line, so either M or A. In this case, we're using A because that was, a, that was definitely the point we were given. We try to use the given information as much as possible, and we sub it into the equation y equals mx plus b. Why are we doing that? Because we need to find the b value to have our equation. We plug it in, all the values, the y, the m, the x, and then we need to find b, and we find out that b is equal to negative a quarter. So, our equation of the line is as follows. y equals 1 quarter x minus 1 quarter. Okay, folks, exactly as you see it here. y equals 1 quarter x minus 1 quarter. All right, one more example. Example number three. You're asked to find the equation of the right bisector of the line segment joining P to Q. All right, so here is all the information here. Okay, and we're going to go through it really slowly. But it's, again, the exact same thing that we did in the other question, but in a different order. We need to find the perpendicular slope. Why do we need to do that? I'll explain in a second. Next, we need to find a midpoint. Obviously, midpoint is involved because the whole point behind this section is a midpoint. And then we find the equation using a slope and a point. So we're going to find this information, and I'll explain this in, this in the next video. So what I want you to do now, folks, is to take a moment, freeze this video, and copy this down so that I can go through and explain each step. Copy this part down and see you in the next video. Take care.